I feel like this is one of the more even matchups between a low tier and a high tier. Just because Ness, uh, Ness can do some horrible things to Falcon. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, the up tilt isn't as punishing as Kirby's, but it's pretty close. Great down tilt. It's an of action this facing tool. Oh, and I think Lowe wanted an up air there to follow up with a down air. He's shaking his head, but Ness off stage is still Ness off stage. <laughs> yeah, Fyro kind of tricky there. Um. <laughs> Ooh, so fast to grab after that DJ scene there, which was kind of dangerous. Fyro's extremely quick uh, at getting those grabs. Let's the wind blow yeah. a little bit, get that extra distance. He just completely whiffed that back air. Ooh, and he had the grab there, it looks like. So I feel like he does a bunch of these in place and then he'll just like swoop in with one. Yeah. Yeah. I was telling Fire too, he's got to really be careful of what his opponents can do because I feel like he's constantly looking for the opening. Right at the edge, yeah, there. very dangerous. That was a very Falcon thing for Lowe to do. Let them jump a few times. Oh, they did it one more time. Okay, running an up smash. Yeah. That Ness up tilt. That's just God hands. And Ooh, Viro's one of the only people that will do the DJC rush like in a match. Like the not no attacks or anything, just the run, like that the fast run that Ness can get. Right. He's one of the only people I see do that, like in an actual game, as an approach. Oh. And... All right, low. It looked like he, was, he couldn't make up his mind what he wanted to do there, but made it happen. Ness off stage is not a good thing. And Fyro read him going high this time. Uh, uh, Faded back to avoid that, and no one connected with anything. Moving low in the ledge. Whew. You know, low had been going high to avoid Fire's edge guards, and finally Fire was able to get one. So now this is really anybody's first game here. Ooh. And there, Fire knew Low was going to run in with an up smash, and he ran away at just the right time. There was that DJC rush. Yeah, Falcon stays on the ground. Nas can do some work with those up airs, but he got the up smash. And I'm not sure if this will actually take it. I'm not familiar with uh, Ness weights. Wow. Low let him come all the way back. And now he's off stage and Fyro wow. gets the down air. They wow. both are shaking their heads. And Low knew it, you know, and that was just like on the left hand side where Fyro had tried to, instead of using the up B, tried to just fly in and grab ledge. Yeah. Um, wow. That time he Lowe did it again. Had that. Yeah, Lowe definitely had that. It was a very good match with him. So he's going to switch to Pika. Uh, <laughs> and I think not because he couldn't do it with Falcon, but I think he thinks it's going to be a very one sided match this way. Yeah, it's like he obviously could do it with Falcon, but this just feels safer. Yeah, but of course, you know, if Fire has the answer for Pika. If Fire has the answer for Pika in another character, right, let's say this, this is very one-sided, it's another situation like with KD3 where yep. he's got to hold serve now here against uh, Low. But Fire is good at this matchup as well, so. Yeah, I wonder if Fire would go Link. Yeah, I think he, would, he might go Link. Very nice from Low. Fyro off stage is able to recover with an up air, but then no real follow up. Uh oh, Lowe's on a side plat. That's it. <laughs> no, all right. Very close. Whew. And Fyro knows. That sounded like such a weak hit. Yeah, it did. <laughs> and Fyro usually knows what will finish the stock. Yeah, I mean, when you play this matchup enough times, you definitely get a feel for the percents. Alright, Fire's not too upset with that. He gets another chance. Back air is really stale now. Yeah, I think he's got to go for that sweet spot here. He's getting further and further away. Yeah. Ooh, 
low up be out of there quickly. Yeah. No, no shield break attempt. He just went right for the grab. Yeah. That's definitely something in Pyro's arsenal. Absolutely. Uh, I think at this level though, he was wanted to just secure the grab and. Oh, I guessed wrong. Yep. And a great tech from low. Yeah. Bad tech in toward the stage, I think, for Pyro. <laughs> he just missed the ledge. Yeah. Yeah, Pyro did that just to stall momentum. This thing, uh, you'll see Foxy do it too with Shine. It, if Pikachu or whoever jumps off really early to go edge guard them, they can stall their momentum and force Pika to have to go back to the stage. Yeah, it was a great try. He, he wasn't too far off from, I think, recovering. Yeah, yeah, he just hadn't missed his up B. He, he would have recovered. Yeah, and if the Pikachu doesn't get a sweet, uh, you know, a sweet spot on the ledge. Oh, that's a bad trade for him. Yeah, and low, he'll, he'll sacrifice that stock. Yeah. So if he trades and he's able to catch the ledge there, that's, you know, he's, he's okay. But it's hard for Ness to get up off the ledge too, especially with Pikachu's can yeah. uh, F-Tilt, and F-Tilt is uh, a very good tool. Um, and he's gonna stick with it. He's not gonna try to switch up to Link. Not yet. Not it yet. It is a best no. of five. But and that was really close. Yeah, and there's a lot of opportunity there where he, he wasn't really winning the neutral and he wasn't necessarily... Uh, he wasn't necessarily finishing a lot of uh, low stocks. A good try. I, you know, Lowe is able to get out of that very quickly. The PK Fire is actually hilarious as an edge guard against uh, Mario and Luigi because it falls down with them. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, it just like, keeps hitting them. It was pretty funny. I've seen it happen with Dave. Cheers. And he only opts for that one uh, up air, down air, grab. And Fyro read the tech in place there, low tech to the right, so it wasn't able to follow up with another down air. Yeah. It looked, I think sometimes Fyro sets himself up to cover multiple tech options with that DJC, but it didn't look like he was no, he he in like, place for that. He yeah. completely committed to the down air, just like fastball down air. Yeah. But you're right, he could have fastballed and then DJC the way to Back. chase it. Yeah. But I think he just was very sure of himself. That's where it was going to be. Oof. Yeah. Now, Les, Ness is very weak on the ledge because his double jump is so slow and like loopy. He can't just like quickly hop off the ledge and get back to the stage like every other character. Oh, kind of late to react there. Everyone's tired here. It's been a long weekend. Yes, it has, but. A good one. Oh, he's low, really getting stage position on him, but Fire is able to get away with that nair. Oh, low just misses with a down air here. He went for that up smash again, but it was just too late. Yeah, and low was so nice about putting that nair uh, right where Fire was going to tech. So once he teched in place, that was curtains. Uh, and he was able to follow Coyton. up with a half stage combo. Coitons. Coitons. I can't do voices right now. Nah, it's, it's tough. It's sad. <laughs> uh, and that's the, on invincibility, uh, Fire's got to tr try to do a better job of avoiding those. Oh, uh, and that's a, that's a bad spot to be in for little Ness. Yeah, and low knows Fire's on his last stock. He'll go as deep as it's, uh, as deep as necessary. So, man, I love the production quality uh, that you, you've done here. Um, Dark, I gotta tell Thanks, you, this is man. so cool to see between stocks. Just we get to see these players, and it looks like Fire's gonna do a controller change, so we might see the Link versus the yeah, Pikachu. Yeah, I hope so. I do too. His Link's always so fun. Yeah. Like, everything's just so exciting with, like, where the boomerangs are gonna go and like what he's gonna do to follow up after a bomb. Like, yeah, it, it's a lot of fun to watch. And the reaching out with one of those big forward airs. Yeah. 
Yeah, like him, like last year when he came to pound, him and Revan, that was like, that was a classic set. It was really long and drawn out, but it was still really exciting. Yeah. Agreed. So he goes Red Link. Thirsty for blood. So it's going to be interesting to see how Low approaches this thing. He, he plays online, so theoretically he knows all the matchups, but as he. Wow, the nice. He pins him in shield. And Low is trying to use an up tilt to beat out that down air, and I do believe that that will work. I was gonna say, uh, what, like, what wins? Uh, it's two abilities with no cart box. The up tilt uh, wins, actually. It's further disjointed than uh, wow. the down air. <laughs> oh, he gets the weak hit on yeah, that. Yeah, that was too high. Oh, but Low botches that up B attempt, so. Byro strikes first in this matchup. Byro is very fast. He messes up uh, to be able to follow up with something, and that's a big combo. Those up airs. Nice get up attack there. Byro all over low this stock. He really has oh, that nowhere man. to escape. Low's like, why is this happening to me? Yeah, <laughs> and the crowd going wild. Uh, sometimes the bomb saves you, sometimes it makes it worse. Yep. It's always nice when it saves you. You're like, thanks, bomb. <laughs> Low tried to hit that boomerang with a nair, but sometimes it catches you anyway. Oh, he didn't have the boomerang back. He just threw nothing. Oh, and Fyro's going to have one more chance at it. That F, uh, F air was really nice. Ooh, a very roll. slow reaction from low. Pyro landed on stage, and all right, so Link's recovery is really bad, but the hitbox on that up B really tricks people. You try and oh. what? Yeah, that you can't, you don't have much control over that up B's momentum, so you have to be very careful. But yeah, when he lands on stage, it's he's easy to take advantage of, and low was slow to react to those. This is all tied up. And I know we, we've talked about how aggressive of a player Fyro is, but he can be pretty patient with Link. Yes. But he does seem to be still kind of the aggressor here. He's looking to really control space. Yeah, and I mean, he's since he's actually doing it, he's going to keep going for it. Yeah, and when he's making his... Uh, when he's controlling space, he's the one approaching with these, you know, up airs and forward airs. Yeah, the fire does a nice job to run back. And Whenever he lands a hit like that, I'm always wondering what he's going to get the kill with. Is it going to be a forward air? Is it going to be a down air? Is it going to be an up B? Oof. He tends to prefer a down air. Yeah, he does. Um, I think it's the... Oh, wow. And low with a good try there. He wants to use that... F air to sort of pin link there. Oh, and that up air is not really that safe in that situation. Yeah, and that's going to be it. Fire's best hope would have been to. Uh, this nick is it. If Faro, if Faro wants to stay alive, got to pull this out with Link last talk. We got to see some epic Link play right now. He wants to live. That's right. Oh, and that's very nice from low. Oh, he must have just let go of shield and Nair doesn't connect. And, and that'll be it. Low takes it. Yeah. And Low really stepped it up for that last stock. They were playing sort of like this dangerous game on the top plat, and Low did such a nice job to hesitate. Doesn't put out that aerial. And